Let's talk about that now with a senior Republican congressman, Lamar Smith of Texas. Lamar, so good to have you back on America's uh, Forum. Uh, Diddy, always good to be with you and your listeners as well, and appreciate your having me. You bet. Now, Lamar, you have uh, been on the uh, Judiciary Committee. You've obviously chaired the Science Committee as well. Rob said it would be crazy, but then he said there would there would be a legal battle. I, is a lawsuit really the way to try to stop this? Well, if the president goes forward with his threat to issue executive orders, which he himself has said he has no authority to do several times over the last couple of years, I think there's going to be real outrage among the American people. You've got three quarters, according to polls, that don't want him to go it alone, that don't think he can make laws on it by himself. And... Uh, I think the outrage will be so great that that will support any number of actions. It will support our efforts to defund uh, the executive order amnesty and not give them the money to execute it. I think it will support lawsuits. It may support other actions as well. But I think that the president does need to be uh, called to task. He does need to be stopped. This isn't a dictatorship. This isn't a totalitarian government. This is a democracy. All right, Lamar, let's, let's go down the list if we could. Uh, lawsuits are one possibility. But defunding any element of this amnesty. Now, the term government shutdown has right. been thrown around. What you're talking about isn't necessarily a shutdown, is it? Well, first of all, no. But if the government is shut down because the president refuses to sign something, it's the president who has shut down the government, not Congress. And uh, I know the, the national liberal media likes to say it would be Congress shutting down the government. But if we can put a defunding bill on his desk in the next Congress, can't do it this Congress, but in the next Congress, if we do that, the president vetoes it. Believe me, it's the president who's shutting down the government, uh, not Congress. Well, what can happen in this Congress? After all, Lamar, if he issues this order sometime over the next couple of weeks and you have de facto amnesty right. continuing apace, that, that sets up a real dilemma, does it not? It does, and all we can do right now is... Uh, you know, take our case to the American people. There's not really much we can do this year with the Democrats still in control of the Senate. I, I look, by the way, J.D., for this to happen. I know the speculation is that even as soon as this week, I don't think the president's going to do it as long as there is the possibility that Congress uh, is in session or will come back in session as we are two weeks in December. I'm looking for this right before Christmas when he'll uh, announce it and hope that the media buries it or hope that people are distracted by by the holidays, and so uh, don't underestimate uh, the ability of this administration to uh, try to spin, uh, gain the system and spin the news. So in terms of the way you see it, it'll be when Congress is out of town, when people are Christmas shopping, then he will try to slide it through and probably take one of his Hawaiian Christmas vacations. Yeah, you, you know this, the typical Friday afternoon when uh, no one's looking around or getting ready for activities, uh, weekend activities and so forth. That's exactly right. For him to do it now when Congress is in session or even in the next couple of weeks when we're coming back for two weeks in December and can mount opposition and, and uh, take our case to the American people. I just don't see him doing it then. But I may be one of the few who feel that way. But this is a very cynical administration. You know, they already said they were going to do it before the administration, I mean, before the election. And then when they realized the American people were opposed to it, it might hurt Democratic candidates, and they waited till after the election. So uh, the cynicism here knows no bounds. Well, Senate Democrats, Lamar, have thrown their support behind the president uh, with a letter arguing that the president is well within his legal bounds to act on immigration. Uh, this letter points out that Presidents Ronald Reagan and George H.W. Bush both issued fair, uh, family fairness policy that stopped deportations. Yeah. Two, two differences, uh, both in the, case, in the case of the other presidents who issued uh, and they weren't similar. They weren't similar executive orders. Nothing on this scale has ever been. Uh, 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 nothing on this scale has ever been uh, determined by a president before. But in the previous cases, they were building on laws that uh, Congress had already passed. In this case, the president is saying he's expanding a a program that Congress never passed. The uh, the so-called DACA law that he allowed everybody under the age of 30 who had been in the country. Uh, for ex since they were younger to stay, which was a complete violation of immigration law. And he says he's building on that, but that was illegal itself. So this is unprecedented in scale. Yes, he can issue discretion on an individual case, as other presidents have done, but you can't do it to millions of people as President Obama wants to do. That really is unprecedented. Fair enough, Lamar. Listen, we want you to stay with us. We're going to come back after the break, talk more about this, what the Congress can do to stop it. 
It's Congressman Lamar Smith. Our conversation continues with him next here on America's Forum.